All right, so I just tinted this in a regular 20% tint. There's nothing super special about it. It's what you would expect with most tints. With a better film, they'll block out more heat. So this is a 250 watt IR lamp. It basically puts out a lot of heat. Now you could take my word for it, or I can actually show you with a little meter. Basically, the higher number that we get, the more heat that is coming through this glass. So if I get that just right, you're gonna see the number spike up about 250, sometimes near 300. So this is ceramic tint. And if we take that, slap that on the inside of the window, and now we do that same test. Let's figure out, we got a nice high number here. We go over to the ceramic, all of a sudden that number drops down a lot and I can physically feel way less heat coming off of that. A lot of heat, not much heat at all. So that got me thinking, I have a bunch of ceramic sprays, an actual ceramic glass coating. I even got a graphene ceramic coating too as well, but there's also ceramic soaps and ceramic glass cleaners. So with all these ceramic products for detailing, can we take any of those, add them to our tint and basically make ceramic window tint? Okay, so first up is a uh, ceramic spray coating by Turtle Wax. This is actually made for paint, metal, and glass. Easy on, easy off. You spray this on the glass, and then you go ahead and wipe it off. That's probably a very generous amount on here. So from most of these, what you're gonna see is some sort of hydrophobic coating. And none of these are claiming that they're gonna make your windows ceramic to where it blocks heat. But from one side to the next, Basically, you should see a little bit more water beating off of one than the next. Not crazy difference here, but I also just kind of sprayed everything, so I'm not expecting the world here. Let's try, let's be generous here. Let's spray it on. Let's wipe it back off. Did we make our window ceramic here? Mm, still feeling quite a bit of heat through it. We're able to get up into the 250s. Remember, we take over here, it's low. Back here, nope, nope, very high. Okay, so next up is gonna be a spray by NextGen. This is also like an Amazon referred one. And to be honest, I'm not really expecting much off of the spray coatings. We'll just spray that on. We're gonna wipe it off. Is this number gonna stay low? Did we make our windows ceramic? No, no we didn't. It's really high still. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely not ceramic tint. Okay, so next up is a product from Gion. This is their clear view. This is actually made for glass. This is a legit glass ceramic coating with a multi-step application process and some seriously fancy packaging. Sploosh it on that microfiber. Lens the glass first. We're gonna take another microfiber here. We're going to drip this on faster. And then crisscross. So there, that should be ceramic coated. Now there's probably gonna be some type of a cure time here. If you leave the residue on the window, right? You just don't want it to come off. So if we just test it with some heat, we'll see, uh, see if that did anything. Do we get any more heat rejection? No, no, that's still really hot. I don't, I don't really feel any difference here. Well, I'm just curious. I want to see if it's genuinely hydrophobic. Wow, look at that. That one's way better. See how beaded that is compared to over here? Where this is still okay. It obviously got some overspray, but going over to an actual glass coating, that's way better. This is Adam's graphene uh, ceramic coating. This is the latest. It even says advanced on the bottle, so you know it's good, right? And we actually got Adam's actual suede applicators here. So we're not pulling any punches on this. We're gonna give a generous amount because, I mean, we really, really want this to work. Look at how much is on there now. You know what? I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna, it's gonna stay wet. Not even gonna let it dry. I'm not even gonna buff it off. We're gonna leave a thick layer on there. Uh, 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 no, no, we're still hitting like 300 there. Oh yeah, yep, that didn't, that didn't do, do anything. 
as far as heat goes. That was the most serious ceramic coating that I think I could have reasonably picked up. It was 120 bucks. But we need to go farther. Remember, remember I said that there's ceramic soap here. So we have inside layers, we have outside layers, we have ceramic soap, we have more that we can do. We're gonna, we're gonna pull out all the guns and we're gonna see what we can do as far as putting as much on it as we can to maybe get some effect. So this is just a pump sprayer. All I have in here is regular water. Let's put some ceramic soap in here. We're just gonna give it really a very generous amount because we want our windows to block as much heat as they possibly can. Oh my God, that's strong. Oh yeah. That stuff, that stuff is strong. I was gonna smell like chemical grapes for, for a while now. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pattern. I just felt it was very appropriate to use a ceramic soap as I'm tinting this. And I'm hoping I'm actually gonna be able to tint it with the ceramic soap because I genuinely have no good reason to have tried this before. I don't really have a good reason to try it now. How do you detailers use this stuff? Can you just a little, like, a little freshen up on the ceramic there? That was a more expensive one. I hope it doesn't ruin the glue. Nice! We're going to tack it down. Mmm, grape! More ceramic, more better, right? That one smells significantly better though. It's the, the turtle wax has a nice smell to it. The soap smells like a poo poo. All right, cool. We have tint. Now I feel it's only appropriate. Let's get just that nice coat on there. We have Adam's graphene on the inside. We're gonna use an actual glass one on the outside. We have ceramic soaps. We're just coating this thing to the max. I genuinely feel like with all these chemicals, like I just lost at least a year. If I take that ceramic, pop that back on. I'm gonna pop this meter back on and we'll see. High 200s to 300, go straight over, boom. Nope. Feel a huge difference between that and all the ceramic that we applied here. Okay, so now we have a little Frankenstein experiment set up. So we have a piece of glass that's tinted in the 20% dyed film. I have this heat lamp suspended over and the meter right there. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour each one of the chemicals over top of it to see if we had a really thick layer does that actually block out any heat or not? So first up, we're gonna try the turtle wax here. Heat rejection, no. All right, so we're gonna pour the next gen on there. Oh, and that one's essentially like milk. So that already is gonna cast some shade. So if you can leave your windows milk, then yes, that'll, that'll block out some heat. Here we go, we're gonna try the, uh, the Gion Repel. And I'll put just a generous amount of drippage in here. We hold, hold back no expense. Did it get hotter? It's like 478. And then when we get this off, is it magnifying the heat? Is this worse? Oh my God, it's hotter. <laughs> that makes no sense. All right, now we're gonna try uh, Adam's graphene ceramic coating. Put a nice generous layer on here. Whoa! It did something! It's, it's climbing back up a little bit. Maybe we're cooling it down? What are we doing? I don't know, this is bro science. Look at that! It worked! Slightly! Again, I'm gonna try this. I'm just gonna try this one, one more time. So we're at like 479, 480. Pop this on right over that sensor. Damn, look at that. 
you get about a 5% reduction in heat if you can put like a, probably like a 10 to 20 mil <laughs> millimeter layer on your glass. Heck yeah, I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna throw that layer of ceramic back there and just look at how much that drops. Sealed in with, uh, with graphene, boom. All the way down to 80, so peel this back off, number jumps up, thin layer of ceramic, tint is, uh, is much better. Okay, so this was total bro science. I had zero expectations coming into here. I've just heard a lot about ceramic coatings and ceramic products, and honestly, I was surprised with how many things that they are putting ceramic in these days. But those are things to help protect your paint, um, and they're going to also give you hydrophobic coating. So there's, there's reasons to use them on where they advertise, but unfortunately, we can't take any of these products and then turn our own window tint into ceramic. So if you wanna get ceramic tint, then it's best to just go buy ceramic. And uh, that's about does it. Thanks for watching.